Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Saturday. It's the day in which you and I have to reflect upon all that has happened in the week. And can we say it is well with my soul? In essence, am I satisfied with what I've done for the Lord and what I've heard what the Lord has asked me to do? Our text on today out of Matthew's Gospel, the 24th chapter, verses 15 through 27, begins to remind us what the prophet Daniel spoke to them in their day. He began to tell them, when that day of the Lord comes, as you're approaching that day, there will be so many things that will be happening that it would almost be mind boggling to just believe what it is. He tells us that in the day uh, when it's time for the Lord to come, there will be so many things that will happen. He begins to remind us there will be so many dangers. There will be so many perils. There will be wars. There will be people who are turning against each other. Why? Because he begins to remind us that there is a spirit that's at loose and it's attacking those who have a faith in God. They will begin to hear the words of false messiahs, those who will say that I am the Messiah, I am the Messiah, and they'll hear so many mixed messages and there'll be so many evidence of things that appears like it might be authentic, but it's not the real thing. I'm so happy that we find this alarm. We find this be on guard because it reminds us that we must test everything by the word of God. Whenever something comes to our way, we must ask ourselves, is this the authentic word of God or is this someone trying to get me to believe something close enough to the truth, but it's still a lie? You and I have to ask God, send your spirit, allow your spirit to work in us that we can differentiate the truth from a lie and that we can tell if it's actually coming from God or is this a false prophet? We hear the caution in this text that there will be false prophets that will come among us. There will be those that will tell that which is so close to the truth. It will sound like the truth, but it's really not the truth. It helps all of us to see. When we get to this time in our lives, we must begin to ask ourselves, God, is your spirit leading and guiding me? Today, let's all ask God's spirit to lead us, to guide us, that when we hear these things, that we'll know the difference between the real thing and the counterfeit. It is always taught by those who are involved in the financial world. And I can remember days gone by before we became so digitized in everything, all the different uh, currency that was out there, ones, the fives, the tens, the 20, the 50, the hundred dollar bills that you can tell the real thing by the texture or what it feels like when it's in your hands. My brothers and sisters, that becomes a great analogy to remind all of us that we need to get our hands on what is real and what is not the real thing, that which is a counterfeit. The Bible reminds us in the latter days, there will be so many counterfeits that we must ask ourselves, is this the real thing or is this something that is close enough to being real, but it's not real? Today, let's make sure that we know the real thing from the counterfeit. If we have the spirit of Christ in our lives, if we have the guidance of the Holy Spirit, he'll tell us when it's real and when it's artificial. Today, I want to remind you, Let's all make sure we know what the real thing is because it always lines up with the word of God. We pray God's blessings upon you that you will always know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And we'll look forward to our time of worship on tomorrow. I'll see you then. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.